What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another hockey card video. Today I have a bunch of hockey cards that I purchased at a local hockey card shop. Now, normally I go in, I purchase what I want and get out, but this time I decided to look around because he had a lot of cards on the display case that were on clearance. Some of them, I left all the prices on them. Some of them are 25 cent cards. Some of them were a dollar. And then there's two that I purchased that were $2 each for that card. So we're going to go through, like I said, all of the prices I left on them, just because it'd be easier for me to do for the video. But once I put it in my personal collection, I am going to be taking it out of the sleeve and putting it in a sleeve that does not have the price tag on it. So he was nice enough to put it in these team packs for me. So whenever I was driving home, they weren't going all over. So we're going to go up and I'm going to start with, I think these are all 25 cent cards. We're going to start with those first. Why not? So like you've already seen, let me let it focus here. First one we have is Grant Fuhr, 25 cents. Now this is a checklist. New, normally I hate getting checklists. I've told you guys this in the past. However, I don't have any Grant Fuhr cards. I love collecting goalies. So I decided even though it's a checklist card, 25 cents can't kill. Now, by the way, most of the cards I got were goalie cards. Just a little update there. We have Tristan Jerry, rookie upper or upper deck portraits. I don't know why I was stuttering there. Again, 25 cents, but this one here looks really nice. It's the first card I have of his. I collect goalie cards. Why not? But I don't know what the value of this card is. I'm definitely going to check it out and see what it is. We have Rick Nash. This is a ice card. Now I do collect Rick Nash. You guys seen that I have quite a few of his cards. I think I bought a lot on eBay uh, last summer or so. So this one's really nice to get. We have Sergi Bobrovsky, Jonathan Taveras, John Taveras. Why did I say Jonathan? John Taveras. Um, now normally I don't buy Tim's cards, especially if I'm not collecting that year, but. This is 1819, which is the year I didn't collect, and it looked really nice. I like that gold foil. It was only 25 cents, so I thought, why not? Phil Kessel, I have a small PC for, so this was really cool to find. And I know that it is a sticker. He Look, $2 price tag, so that's what he was trying to sell it for before. But I got it for 25 cents, so even though it's a sticker, um, I still collect Phil Kessel. I think he's awesome. We have Aginla. This is Hockey Heroes uh, from 2000. Um, yeah, that looks really nice. I like how it has a trophy here. I like how it has him in a suit. And for 25 cents, I don't have many of his cards. That was awesome to get. Ryan Miller. This is uh, Opeachy Retro. I think it's just a base card, but I don't have many of his cards, and I do like him. We have Messier. Marc Messier, 25 cents. That looks awesome. I also had Chara. I like the foil effect. I don't think this is like a foil or special card. I think all of them for this uh, one was that, where they have the foil effects, but it's still really cool. And the last one here is another Ryan Miller OPG base. So I was managed to find two of his. Now there was some other cards that were 25 cents that I was gonna pick up. I decided to put them back just to lower my costs. Now for the dollar pack here, I'm gonna open them up and show you guys what I got. I think these ones are all a dollar. I'm gonna start off with the cover. So this is Hendrick Legquest. This is numbered out of a thousand. At first, when I seen it was a dollar, I was gonna pick it up anyways. But when I noticed it's numbered out of a thousand, he's one of my favorite goalies. I thought I'm definitely picking that up. We also got a upper deck portrait for Martin Brodeur. Yager, who I collect. I don't have any portraits, so that was really cool to find. Brian Elliott, which I do have a little PC. So to find this one looks awesome. I love the design of it. I love OPG Platinum, and I knew I didn't have this card. I don't think I collected this year. 1516, yeah, I didn't collect that year. So for a dollar, I thought that was great. It's a thick card too. We have Mario Lemieux. Another Martin Brodeur. 
This is Synergy, which, uh, from my understanding, since I didn't collect them, but from my understandings, all the cards in those packs were classified as inserts. There's no technical base, but this has a nice foil effect. I like how it's rigid here. And we also have Marc Messier as well in the same Synergy pack. Like I said, there was other ones that I could have got, other numbered cards that were around a dollar as well. But I decided to put those back just to lower my costs. And I did get two other cards here. We have a Marky Rookie for Ben Bishop. I do collect Ben Bishop. i seen this here. Even though it's his Opeachy Marky Rookie card, it was $2. I would have rather found his Young Guns. This still was a nice card to get for my personal collection, so that was really cool to find for only two bucks. No price on the back of this one. And we have an Akita Zadorov, Future Watch, numbered out of 1299 $2 on the front, which is what I paid, and he has $5 on the back. Now this one here, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to be keeping it for my collection. I would have rathered a Future Watch Auto card. I love getting those, but this is still a really cool card, especially for $2. So this was really cool to go to a local hockey card shop and just go through the bins and see what there is. Got a bunch of 25 cent cards, cards that I didn't have in my collection for certain players and goalies that I collect for in PC. Bunch of dollar cards and then two two dollar cards. So still really cheap doing this and I got a lot of cards for my collection and players that I PC. So I thought that was great. So I plan on going back in the future. They had really good stuff. I don't know if I'm going to look through the hockey cards because I did spend some time and dig through. I might have pulled out maybe 20 additional cards, but I decided to put them back just because some of them were kind of plain and base um, and ones that I didn't want to purchase at the time. I might pick them up in the future if he still has them, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below which was your favorite card and comment down below if you guys have hockey card shops in your area that do have cheap cards like this. This is the first one that I found. I've been to three that are close to me. This one's a little bit farther away. Um, it's probably almost the other end of the city in a way, but uh, still the first one that I had found that they're selling 25 cent cards, a dollar cards, two dollar cards. They have some that were five dollars and some jersey cards that weren't too much, but I didn't want to really dive into all of that the first time going to them. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.